Hello there and welcome. In this episode we are looking at hard corals. So hard corals are an aquatic animal that lives in salt water. They're called hard corals because they use calcium carbonate to create a calcareous skeleton. And this is their main structural element. From this you have polyps, which vary in size and shape. They all contain an algae, zooxanthellae, which the corals use to produce food for them. Hard corals will also use their polyps to capture zooplankton out of the water column, which they will feed upon. So that's a little bit about the biology of hard corals. However, we're looking at them in an aquarium. So there's two main types of hard corals you're gonna find, and that's the SPS and the LPS. So this just refers to the size of their polyps. So LPS is long polyp, stony, and SPS is short polyp, stony. And that basically means they've got short polyps and they are stony, i.e. a hard coral. So when keeping hard corals, there's a lot more to consider than when keeping soft corals. Hard corals are generally a lot more sensitive to poor water conditions and also more sensitive to changes in water quality and conditions. With this in mind, you need to keep your nitrates and phosphates very low. You also need to make sure your alkalinity, magnesium and calcium and salinity stay very stable. As rapid fluctuations or having them at lower concentrations than natural seawater will cause your corals to die. pH is also very important. Normally if you keep the rest of those in check, pH should stay relatively stable and where you want it. So hard corals rely on light for most of their food. They will take stuff out of the water, but that only equates for around 10% of what they eat. The rest comes from lighting. Obviously, when you're building your hard coral aquarium, you need to focus on good lighting, otherwise you won't be able to support your livestock. And by that, I mean high intensity lighting at the right spectrum to support corals, either tube lighting or LEDs. Hard corals like a lot of flow in the aquarium, so you're going to need to add some power heads. Without adequate flow, many hard corals will fail to thrive. Sometimes this may even result in their death. When placing hard corals, make sure you give each coral enough space around it, normally six inches. One, this allows the coral space to grow, but also hard corals can and will sting each other to death in a form of coral warfare. So giving each coral plenty of space to itself is very necessary. So from that brief description of hard corals, you can see that they are a lot more fragile than other corals such as the softies because they demand a very stable aquarium and normally more expensive equipment to keep them alive. So they're a lot more fragile and although they're not incredibly hard to keep, they're generally not suitable for brand new reef keepers. However, keeping hard corals is worth the effort you go to. Hard corals provide you a lot more colour and variety than the soft corals do and they tend to have longer polyps which give you a nice bit of movement in the aquarium. Some of the easier hard corals to look after are in the LPS group. If you're starting out on hard corals, I'd recommend corals such as Euphilia type or Duncan's corals, as these are really quite forgiving for hard corals. I've done another video on soft corals, it'll be linked in the description. If you're trying to compare hard corals to soft corals, it's definitely worth taking a look at that video. I hope this brief description of hard corals has been helpful. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping!